Hello everyone, I'm James and my teammates are Zach and Sarthak and this is our project. The problem we wanted to solve was most knee braces on the market are fixed and don't really allow certain ranges of motion. This can lead to increased recovery time because blood flow and pressure are important for fast recovery. Currently, most knee braces on the market are expensive and cost more than $150. They're also very heavy due to the materials that are, they use and are hard to repair. So our solution is to design a 3D printed brace with an adjustable hinge allowing the patient to set the range based on the phase of the recovery that they're in. Um, we also wanted it to be lightweight, easy to repair because it's 3D printed, more comfortable and affordable uh, with a cheaper price range around $50. So this is a SOLIDWORKS model of our design. It consists of pins and holes. This is uh, how the patient is gonna set the range of motion, um, set the angles for their range of motion that'll restrict uh, flexion and ten uh, extension. And then this is an image of our physical prototype next to our SOLIDWORKS model. In this video, the no pins are set on the brace, allowing the patient to move the knees freely and it's just there for the normal support. Now in this setup, I've added the pin in such a way that the extension of the knee is limited. You can see here that the pin is blocking the lower half of the brace from going all the way up and limiting the extension. So depending on which phase the patient is in recovery, he can adjust the angles accordingly. In this setup, I've set up the pin in such a way that the flexion of the knee is restricted. This time the pin is blocking the low half of the brace from going into an extension or flexion position from the flexion position. I've readjusted the pin in such a way that now the flexion of the knee is limited even more than the previous setup. As you can see, the subject here is really trying to push through the pin, but the pin blocks the lower half of the brace from going all the way. In this setup, I'm using two pins, which allows the brace to move within a limited range of angles. The two pins block the lower half of the brace from moving in either direction, allowing limited flexion and extension.
Here I've moved the upper pin so that the angle of extension is increased. So if the patient's phase of recovery is in an advanced stage, then he can move the pin accordingly so that he can recover faster. In conclusion, we were able to design a knee brace through 3D printing, which only cost $50. This is much cheaper than other products currently on the market right now. It also allowed us to make it very lightweight and it performed exactly how we expected it to. Some improvements that could be made would be using better 3D printing process and stronger material to make it more durable adding some padding to make it more comfortable for the wearer, and also measuring the patient beforehand so that we can 3D print one to their size. And this is a animation from SolidWorks of our design. This is a different pin setup. Any questions? Thank you.